Okay, what is up guys? Here we go again. I am Freaktography, Urbex Dave, another abandoned bowling alley. This is abandoned bowling alley number three in the last week. So this one, I could have gotten into this one so long ago, but I didn't put in the effort. I didn't look past the end of my nose and I could have done this bowling alley when it was still fully intact and full of stuff. But what it is, it is what it is. So now it's being dismantled piece by piece, very slowly. I'm guessing it's gonna be demolished over time. But what we have here is another very old bowling alley. And I'm guessing that bowling just is not as popular as it used to be because I now know of four abandoned bowling alleys within a 30 minute drive of where I am right now. So. What we're going to do, we're going to cue the music, we're going to cue the intro, we're going to wrap it up, we're going to do an explore, we're going to take some pictures, we're going to check this place out, hopefully we stay safe, hopefully nothing happens, you know what to do, cue the music, cue the intro, let's get it. Alright, so here we are, main level of the bowling alley, we have got, looks like, Two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe twelve lanes up here. Take a walk up, check it out. Obviously, a lot of dismantling has been going on here, taking apart of the floors. Hardwood floors coming apart, ball returns to coming apart. All the machinery and the mechanics at the back have been removed down up here, but there is another twelve lanes downstairs that still have some equipment. So we'll go down and check that out. Here is your uh, ball return, nice pink in color. So this is obviously an old-fashioned retro type of bowling alley, which is great. I guess they kind of all, all look like that. But let's move along. What do we got here? There we go. Keeping score. You got your TV monitors up there for your electronic scoring. This here, I'm guessing, was at the back, up against the lanes over there. So we got fire alarm. We have the fire, the fire detectors here. Batteries are dying, so you're going to hear the odd beep every once in a while. Here is your main cash out area where you'd come in, you get your shoes, you pay for your bowling, you get some snacks, you get a pop, you get a drink. All the bowling shoes are gone. The last couple bowling alleys that we did still had all the shoes. But this one here does not. Looking over here at the counter, you got some nasty looking orange juice, some paperwork, box of Skittles, bunch of pennies. There's where your shoes would have been held. You got some garlic spread for your garlic bread. Who doesn't love garlic bread? I love garlic bread. Somebody's glasses. All right, let's keep going on and check out what's back here. Probably a lot of nothing. There's your sink. Television for entertainment. Wi-Fi router. Moving right along into the back sales office. This is pretty cool. Johnson & Johnson first aid kit. That's good. Band-aids and thread. That's all you need in your standard issue first aid kit. What we got here? We got some books. We got a pair of jeans. We got some glassware. We got washer and dryer. And then just a bunch of junk. Just a bunch of junk. Which is pretty much all we find in these places, right? It's junk. All right, moving along. Out of the office space. Back out into the main bowling alley. Moving over here, community board, community events. Not much to talk about. Not much going on here. If 
move over here. Somebody left their jacket. A few people left their sweaters. Got a couple of scarves left behind. Some mittens. It's all right. Here we got a kid's room. Kid's play area. Happy birthday room. Check it out. You got your uh, Winnie the Pooh team. You got Eeyore, Tigger. You got the whole gang. Happy birthday. Benches. I guess this is where you'd have a little birthday party before you go bowling. All right. Over here we got some trophies. A whole bunch of trophies. Congratulations to whoever earned those trophies that didn't get to bring them home. League scores right here. Good job, everybody. That's the 300 club right there. Good job. Empty box. Ball return. Okay, so I'm going to move on downstairs, but before I go downstairs, I got to put my respirator on because there's black mold downstairs and it is nasty down there. So, I'm going to turn this off, maybe take some pictures up here, then head back downstairs, do some more video. All right, we will be right back. Look what I found, guys. I found a wedding picture, a wedding photo shoot done here. Beautiful red haired bride. Focus in on that there. There you go. Beautiful red haired ginger bride in her wedding dress with the, the dude in the back, taken right here in this same spot. Right here. Look at that. That is crazy stuff. So let's continue our tour of the abandoned bowling alley. And we're going to take a walk down the lane here. And we're going to see what's going on down here. Not much interesting back here, but we still got to look though, right? Still got to look. I don't want to bump my head there. Duck down, there we go. See, we still got some lights on here. Not very bright though. Kind of like me. Lights are on, but I'm not very bright. So, fuse box. I should turn the air conditioning on because it is freaking hot back here, let me tell you. I was facing the other way. All the bowling balls, I think, are gone, which is a bummer. But what are you going to do? Moving on here. Much of the same. Much of the same. Much of the same. Hey, there you go. Continuing on very back corner where you've got some stuff just some mechanical stuff for the bowling alley there you go there's your view all the way down from the back where the balls land looking over there that way straight from here back up down the lane there's your ball return there yeah let's go Take a view from here, swing around. Still on the top floor, still on the main level. About to move on downstairs. Okay guys, so in other news, I just figured out how to turn the lights on. So now we got power in here so you can see a lot better, which is awesome. It's always good when you can find power, turn the lights on and then get better pictures. So now I can get much better pictures and much better video footage with the lights on. So let's hope I can also turn the lights on downstairs, because downstairs is really dark. But I'm much happier now being in here with these lights on, because now I can get much better pictures. Okay? Thank you. Okay guys, what is up? I got my face mask on. We're going downstairs where there's black mold. It's not safe down there. Safety first, explorers. Let's go. There we go. 
go. Making our way down. Downstairs. Down we go. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find where the light switch is down here. Okay, everybody. I found the light switch, so now we have power. And now we're in the Looney Tunes bed, birthday room. And we have lots of black mold down here. As you can see, spores and spores and spores of glowing black, growing black mold. Not good, Tweety Bird. Not good. So, we're going to move along and do an explore. I got to talk louder. This thing on my head here. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's get it done here. See again, lots of black mold growing on the walls, which is why I am wearing my face mask, respirator, because I don't want to breathe this shit in. Here is your coffee payment. Get your bowling shoes stuff. There's your prices for all your stuff you can get in the kitchen. All right. See that? Hopefully you can hear me. I gotta talk loud. Here you got your bowling trophies. All the shoes are gone. As you can see, there's obviously some kind of a flood here at one point, so they stopped using the basement, which is a good idea. Here's some more trophies. Some more bowling league trophies. Lots of black mold on the wall. You got your lanes. Very, very badly worked from water damage. Clearly there was a flood down here. And the flooding broke the floors and caused the growth of black mold. Here's when they would have done their glow in the dark bowling as well. I don't want to spend much time down here. That's for damn sure. I'm taking very shallow breaths and not taking my face out of the mask. Because safety comes before Urbex, folks. Okay? Please do not loft the ball. Let's go for a walk down the lanes. See what's going on back here. Put the light on. I believe back here they still have some of the mechanisms for ball returns. Yes, definitely glow in the dark falling down here. Judging by the things on the walls that glow in the dark. So here's what's left of the ball return mechanism in the back of the basement, bowl, basement bowling alley. This thing here has been removed. Pin setter. So they're obviously at some point going through the phases of removing each and every one of these. So that's about it down here. I'm not going to go back there much further. Got to keep on going. And we'll go over here and focus on the warping of the floor. Right here. This floor is badly warped. Like I said, as a result of flooding and water damage. Which might just be what led to the ultimate closing of this facility. Over here we got another birthday room. It's disgusting. We got your Disney characters. All this shit on the floor. Black mold. It's not a good thing in here, folks. It's definitely not a good thing being in here.
Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna take some pictures, take this stupid mask off and go back upstairs. Be right back. Let's go back upstairs. So I can breathe. Popcorn. Uh, okay. Whew. Uh. Gone. Okay, guys, that's been the abandoned bowling alley number four. Four bowling alleys in one week. Unbelievable. Right behind me here, right behind you, is the UBC. He just showed up to do a video and I just wrapped mine up. So, hope you guys have liked it. What do you guys think of all the abandoned bowling alleys? Look down below, I'm gonna link all the videos to the abandoned bowling alleys. I'll link the galleries, maybe I'll throw a little bit of a photo gallery in after this. But you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to my shit, drop me a comment down below, let me know that you like my stuff, let YouTube know that you like my stuff. Keep it real. What else can I say? Hey, no. no. UBC says stay positive. Rhythm Rider says exploring is the mission, not a competition. UBD says go fuck yourself. So, hope you liked it. Till next time. Peace.